Hey everyone, Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA. I want to do a breakout session of one that I uh, did a, uh, a full hour long workshop for uh, during a, a recent Enterprise DNA Learning Summit. Now, what we're looking at here is uh, part of the budgeting session. It was, it was a lengthy session, went for about an hour. There's uh, almost 200 people live at, at this particular one because I know that budgeting is a uh, is or, or, or forecasting anything of that nature is a is a, uh, a, a highly requested and and highly analysed type of thing inside of Power BI, and this is what you know this is truly what Power BI is great for, right? And so what I want to do is break out a very unique part of this analysis and show you how it was done. Okay, it's not hugely difficult because what I want to showcase to you here is. How do we calculate uh, the sales versus budgets to date? Okay, so what we've got here. So if you check out this particular, you'll see you'll see here the problem, right? And this is how we're going to solve it. You'll see here that we have a cumulative total for our budgets, right? So this is what this dark blue line is. You see here cumulative budgets, and we have a cumulative total of our actuals, right? And we only wanted to show a cumulative total up to the last sale date or up to today. It could be today, but in this case, I've done it up to the last sale date. Now, I want to work out, okay, what is the difference between these two particular numbers? Okay, so you see in the tooltip here, the one that I'm, um, I've created, we've got a cumulative budget of 9.7 million and a cumulative sales of 7.9. Well, I want to show the difference for each different say city that we have a budget for right now it's not as easy as just going cumulative budgets minus cumulative sales and some of you might have run into this now the reason is because uh, cumulative budgets right is calculating up the entire year and so it's at 15 million and if we went and went 15 million to, uh, and we put it on a year, a city in a city context. If we just went and went 15 million minus, say, 7.9, well, that's not right because we want to see it up to today's date or up to the last sale date, so a way more relevant number. And that's what I wanted to show today, and that's what this particular um, table actually shows: sales versus budgets to date. Okay, and you'll see here that we've got a breakdown per city um, across, and we can I've, I've added some some um, data, um, some con conditional formatting there uh, in terms of uh, some, what are they called? They're called uh, data bars, that's right, data bars. Really love data bars, I think they're a really great visualization because you can see very quickly, well this is a bit of an outlier, right? So it's really, really interesting insight. But I want to show you like how do we actually isolate this calculation in here to put in this particular context, okay? Because it's just not as easy as just doing a simple, um, you know, budgets minus minus sales. We need to re re we need to basically reduce or only take that budget number on the very last day, right? Okay, so let's go and have a look at the calculation, and you'll quickly see. And I'll just change that. You'll quickly see how it's done. So we've got sales budget today. Now what we need to do, right, what we need to do is we basically need to work out, okay, well what is, what is the very last sale date? And this is what this calculation does. It goes, go and find the very last day in this particular column, which is in the sales table, but first of all, remove any context from the sales table, okay? Now we need, what that's what all does, all is like a remove filters uh, formula. And what it does is it will take all the filters off sales and we can go and work out, okay, at any, depending, no matter what context we have, what is the last sale day we ever made, like we have made a sale on, okay? And then this part of the formula is key, right? We're going cumulative sales minus cumulative budgets, but we're going to do it in a different context because that's what Calculate enables us to do. This context is going to be adjusted by the last sale date. We only want to calculate up to the last sale date and that's what going all selected dates and, and then 
all selected will create a list of dates in the current context. In this particular case, it's 2018 because you'll see here I've, I've just got this page level filter down there and we're only looking at 2018 budgets. And then it's saying, okay, go look through every single date and if that date is less than the last sale date, then we're going to include it. And I mean, this could actually be less than or equal to. We're going to include it in this calculation. Okay. And that's it basically. That's it. This is the this is this is a very similar say um, your filter to say if we are calculating a cumulative total. But in this case, what we're doing is we just we are basically um, restricting. We are going to restrict the cumulative budgets result, right? And what we've got here, um, because we don't want this cumulative results to calculate all the way out to here, which it would if we didn't do this. And then you'll see here, what I wanted to highlight here, see this 350 down the bottom of this table here, 350? Well, that is the difference between these two here. So 10.98 um, um, minus 10.629. And that is what that minus 350 is. And then what we've got inside here was we've got a breakdown. We've got a breakdown of each individual item or each individual city is showing the sales versus uh, budgets today. So pretty simple, um, you know, not too difficult. It's just about a matter of understanding, especially calculating how you can re uh, change the context within Calculate using filter. Uh, and then the other one, I guess, is just understanding what all selected does versus all. Um, this uh, probably you know, I've created a video around all selected um, on and I put it up on Enterprise DNA TV. So certainly um, search for that one if you want to learn a bit more about that. Um, but um, but in this particular case, it works perfectly and enables us to get the calculation that we want. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover here. I think this is a good breakout uh, from from this um, you know wider session that occurred at the Enterprise DNA Learning Summit. It was a really good one. Um, you know, try, I went through how you could um, you know. Uh, create uh, was, it was actually a lot of it was actually based on virtual relationships using the treat as function so I'll put a link below to where um, where you could where you can access it um, if you are an enterprise DNA member uh, it's you know, if, and if you want to if you want to upgrade um, and think about getting to membership this is certainly a great session that you'll be able to really benefit from in, in full but hopefully in any case you really enjoyed the breakout part of this and how you calculate or how you manipulate these um, these core, these these measures, uh, use, use, uh, utilizing a little bit of additional context within within calculate to to get you know the perfect answer that we want. Okay, all the very best. Um, if you if you enjoyed learning or got some benefit out of this content, um, if you could throw the video a like, always appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to Enterprise DNA TV. Um, plenty of great content coming out on Power BI very soon, so can't wait to get that out to you. Okay, all the best.